All right, so Genesis chapter 7. It starts off with Moses um, still claiming to God that he's like not well spoken, so why would Pharaoh ever listen to him? It's kind of like how Emma said, like, if, if he's able to, if God is able to rescue all the Israelites and perform all of these, like, crazy plagues of nature, um, of course he's going to be able to give Moses the words he needs in order to um, fall through with God's plan. But it continues on with Arrow and Moses, Arrow, Aaron and Moses <laughs> doing the staff turning into the snake for Pharaoh, and then Pharaoh has magicians come and do it. They don't do it to the same extent, but yet Pharaoh's heart is hardened because of God, so it's not anything life-changing for him. And then um, moving on, the Nile turns to blood. And I thought it was interesting when it says in verse, I think, yeah, 19, that blood will be everywhere in Egypt, even in the wooden buckets and stone jars. My notes say that, like, the Egyptians believed that their gods inhabited um, things like made of wood and clay and stone, and then also, um, they, they, the Nile was very important to them for worshipping the god Hapt, Happy? Um, so, like, the water of the Nile was dedicated to this god, and so by performing these things through Aaron and Moses, God is directly attacking the beliefs of the Egyptians and Pharaoh. Um, and when I was younger, I never used to understand why God always continued to harden Pharaoh's heart. But reading through it now, it makes perfect sense to me that God is doing this in order to continue to show his great power and authority over all of the other gods that these Egyptians were practicing. Um, so not only that, but also he's showing that like he is the one true God that they have to answer to. And that um, he's he's punishing them for constantly oppressing his chosen people and constantly denying him as God. Um, so it, it ends with the Egyptians like trying their hardest to still get to water. Um, and I think it also makes sense that God hardens Pharaoh's heart because I think if any one of us were in this these situations seeing all of these great wonders like it'd be pretty obvious to us that God is in power and has all of the authority but because he's hardening Pharaoh's heart he's able to like continue to ramp up with these plagues and like great miracles while Pharaoh is still able to like continue to deny God um, so those are my thoughts on this chapter let me know what you guys think oh and I nominate um, Joseph, if he's still around, uh, I'd like to see a chapter from him.